what's going on guys my name is Jerry and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different so today we're gonna be talking about the advantages and disadvantages of rooting your Android device so let's start off by the um, uh, what do you say advantages first so um, the first advantage is that you get the root access of course and you also get the super user access that allows you to modify some built-in apps so that's a pretty good thing and you can also um, uninstall or remove them the built-in apps so the second uh, advantage is that um, you can change the processor speed like um, if you if your phone is pretty slow you can uh, change the processor speed and your phone can get um, a little bit faster you can also um, slow down the processor speed so let's come on the third one third one is the tweaking one and um, it lets you modify your um, like fonts and keyboard layouts and stuff like that themes so that's what tweaking does and the fourth one is that a lot of us get annoyed by the ads coming again and again in the apps we play so yeah um, after you root your device it's pretty easy for you to um, remove the ads so the number six uh, on the number six spot we have custom ROMs and kernel so if you root your device you can um, just get some custom ROMs um like you can just modify your phone if you if you have um like an s3 so you can't um download lolly uh the lollipop software which is on s6 so after you root your device you can actually um just do that like you can um download all the latest softwares and all the stuff like that that's pretty good i think yeah so on the number seventh spot and the last spot um, that I know is that um, you can also unroot a device. Like if you harm your device in any way, you can unroot it. And um, remember that when you root your device, um, your warranty gets off. So if you unroot your device, the warranty will come back, and then um, your device will be um, just like it was before rooting but make sure that um, unrooting works 70% um, of the time it doesn't work 30% but that's it and now let's come to the side of the disadvantages so on the number one spot we have the root access and the super user access so it seems pretty nice to have this but um, if you use it a little bit wrong or something like that um, <laughs> it will just be in a, p a pain in the ass so let's come to number two the CPU clocking which makes your processor fast and slow so if you use this um, like for example if you um, if you have a really uh, cheap phone like um, let's say s2 and you make its processor like the fastest uh, so what will happen is that um, the, what will happen is that the processor will run so far so far that it will burn your device and you don't want to barbecue your device yeah so make sure not to do that or you will just um, do uh, make a barbecue of your device so let's come to the number th uh, third spot which is breaking so yeah uh, break your uh, to break your device is that uh, to modify some keyboards and fonts like that but if you don't use them again if you don't use them uh, wisely and correctly your device will be just finished not finished but harmed <laughs> maybe finished too and the fit on the fifth spot we have ad blocking so um, yeah I know it's uh, very un uh, the ads are very annoying but once you block your ads um, <laughs> remember that the um, owner of the ads get money from the app um, the owner of the apps get that ads and apps so they're both interlinked so if you just um, block the ads 
the person who uh, um, what do you say who yeah, gave the ads that. won't be getting the money and if oh, Google yeah. Play Store knows about this it's just gonna uh, make your device um, it's gonna yeah. just gonna uh, block yeah. your yeah. Google account yeah. so on the sixth yeah. spot we have yeah. custom ROMs and kernels yeah um, they sure can be pretty nice to have and use but they can also be a total nightmare wanting to happen if you, uh, if your device gets break or just uh, outright goes crazy like if your device gets bricked like when i told you before about the breaking which you can modify the fonts and stuff if your device gets bricked and uh, you have a custom rom and you just go crazy and install everything like so of course your device will mess up and then you have to um, unroot your device so that's it and yeah and make sure that when you root your device um, uh, unrooting doesn't really uh, work all the time so on num the number 8 spot uh, as I told you before um, we have the warranty so if you uh, uh, just like for example if you just bought an S6 Edge like yesterday and you want to root it today because of the all the benefits so um, when you root it what will happen is that the warranty of it will be gone and unrooting doesn't really work every time it works most of the time but not every time so please make sure that you don't do it if you uh, are like in a risk for it or something like that don't use it like that but yeah that's it for the uh, video today guys make sure you drop a like if this helps you and comment if uh, you have any problems or suggestions and I will see you in the next video peace out